Hey, Julian. How you doing? Hey, Jack. What's going on? Um, what you up to? Uh, well, I'm actually uh, putting it together a drawing for a lightboard presentation that I'm going to do in, in uh, just a bit. Okay, you, you must be busy. I'll, is this a good time or should I come back later? Yeah, no, what's up? What's going on? Uh, well, I just got off the phone with my buddy John and he had uh, something that went on today and he called me to see if I had any ideas on how we could uh, help him out. Okay. Um, apparently, his story, someone that he worked with uh, this morning fired up a bunch of new virtual machines to, uh, to run some number crunching for their accounting department. And the guy fired him up, started the jobs, decided he was hungry, went to lunch. Okay. Uh, John came in, he saw these new VMs, he didn't know where they came from, uh, saw that they were consuming so many resources on their environment that the other workloads couldn't run. So this was John, right? Mm -hmm. So he just deleted the new VMs, Oof. right? The other guy came back from lunch and he had his list of tasks. He wanted to add them into their backup software and a bunch of other things. And they were gone. Oh man. Oh, that's, that's terrible. It, you know, it, it's actually interesting that you come by uh, right now because I'm actually uh, putting together a picture to describe a solution that would have been hugely beneficial to your friend. And he wouldn't have ended up in the situation that he ended up in. Um, you know, I can describe that for yeah. you, for you a little bit here. As That'd we, be great. Yeah. All right, so there's two main components to this solution that I'm talking about. Uh, the first is something that we call Private Cloud Business Edition, or PCBE for short. Okay. Okay, think of Private Cloud Business Edition, which runs in the HPE GreenLake Cloud, as your cloud control plane for managing your on-prem DHCI clusters and your hybrid cloud workloads, okay? I like how you do those here. You, uh, you stack those like a pro. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. Um, this allows us to basically manage our entire uh, hybrid cloud workloads and, and provision those. Now, the other half of that equation, of course, is data protection, right? Right. So the other service that we're going to talk about here is something called GreenLake for backup and recovery, or GLBR for short. Okay. That is going to also run in the HP GreenLake cloud right next to PCBE, and the two function as a complementary unit. Huh. Uh, tell you a little bit about, about how that works. So we've already got our on-prem components here for PCBE. We've got a couple of more that we're gonna deploy uh, specifically to support GreenLake for backup and recovery. So I'll draw a couple of VMs here. Mm. The first of those is gonna be this thing that we call a data orchestrator or a DO. Okay. Kind of like a traffic cop for all the, the backup traffic that, that's occurring. It sort of manages the schedules and things along okay. those lines. Yeah, yeah. All right. And the other is this thing called a protection store gateway or PSG for short. Right. Okay. The PSG uh, manages all of the storage that we use for backup targets. So it might have, for instance, an on-prem repository here that we configure, and the PSG would be the gateway into that. That's where we would store local backups. Sure. It might also be our gateway into a cloud-based backup repository, which we call the Cloud Protection Store. Okay, that allows for secure offsite backups. Now where the magic happens is where these two services start to talk to each other, okay? Wow, okay. Both of them are policy driven and on GreenLake for Back on Recovery, we can create a protection policy. So we'll have our protection policy defined over here. And that protection policy determines when we're gonna take backups, you know, where our backup targets are gonna be. Are we gonna do you know, snapshots on the array? Are we gonna do local backups? Are we gonna do cloud backups? Okay, how okay. long we're gonna keep those around, when we're gonna delete them, if they can be deleted, all sorts of stuff about how we protect the data. Okay. On the PCBE side, that's where we have provisioning policies. Huh. All these policies, you sound like an insurance company. Yeah, well, we wanna make sure your assets are protected, Thank right? You. So on the provisioning side, that's where we determine basically uh, any policies that we wanna implement about the virtual machines, what sort of storage they land on, are they right. encrypted, do we have QoS policies, that sort of thing. Right. But we can also encode this protection policy as part of that provisioning policy. Ah. So what's that mean? That means that when we provision new virtual machines as part of our workload, from the very beginning of that virtual machine's life cycle, it's gonna be protected because it's gonna inherit as part of the policies that we define about this VM, that protection schedule and that protection policy. So you can have different provisioning policies that are covered by different protection policies? Absolutely, so we wanna define the protection within GreenLake for Backup and Recovery, define the, the provisioning policies within uh, PCBE, and then assign those. So we might have you know, different needs for different workloads, 
right. but uh, we can define all of that up front. And then any of these new assets you create are automatically covered by one of these policies. Absolutely, you got it. Awesome. I think that'll work great for John. Uh, where should I point him to get more information? Yeah, so the place that I would send him would be to go to the website greenlake.hpe.com. Well, That's my homepage. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. We'll put a little, uh, little QR code here that he can go reference to make it easy. But uh, go, to, go to that website and then you'll be able to find out information about each of the respective services, uh, get some free demonstrations and trial licenses, uh, as well as connect to HPE Sales if you want to take it to the next step. You're going to make me sound so smart, Julian. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Todd. Yep, talk to you later. Cheers.